Storm Dragons would like to work with you, my friend. It is no accident you were drawn to this video. It is synchronicity and likely if you're watching this video and content like this, the Storm Dragons are already working with you as are probably all the other main dragon elementals. But where does one even begin to start working with the storm dragons? How does one work with the storm dragons? You're in luck because we're gonna cover all of that and more in today's video. But first, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Hannah and I help people to own their powers and step into the driver's seat of their own lives. And today, I'm gonna be helping you do that by educating you all about the storm dragons. I'm going to tell you what they look like, where you can find them, and most importantly, how to work with them so you can take your life to the next level. Because let me tell you, my friends, Working with storm dragons is not for the faint of heart. Their energy is really, really intense and it can and will skyrocket your entire life. It can catapult your entire life. It can catalyze your entire life. It can take like the, the low vibrational crap and drama that you're dealing with and instantaneously lift the frequency so high that you might not even be able to fathom it. And that all starts with some simple practices. So let's get into it, shall we? So first and foremost, what even are storm dragons? Or you may also know them by the name of maelstrom dragons. Take whichever term resonates with you. Essentially, these are the final tier of the nine main dragon elementals. They are the, the cream of the crop, if you will. They're not better than the other elementals, but basically they're so like old and ancient, they've mastered all the other eight elementals and are now able, able to like incorporate all of that in a very integrated way. And as their name implies, this can often look like working with actual storms because actual storms do kind of involve all of the elements but it's not just exclusive to kind of storm magic weather magic weather bending kind of stuff um they can help you with a whole myriad of things really the sky is the limit pun intended so what do storm dragons tend to look like as i always like to say in my dragon videos e did every dragon is different. So you're going to want to check in with specific dragons and your own intuition on what type of dragon elemental they are, if they even are an elemental, because not all dragons are elemental dragons. That being said, storm dragons, in my experience, they don't tend to be um, associated with any specific colors per se, but what does kind of differentiate them in general they tend to be very, 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 very big. <laughs> not always, of course, but in general, um, they tend to be big. And even if they're not like physically big, their energy is very, very big. And if anything with their color, you might find that stor storm dragons kind of have a mix of different colors they may be like rainbow or something or just different like three different colors maybe like red black and gold all together uh, instead of just like one solid color which tends to be the case for like the lower dragon elementals they kind of tend to focus on a, one specific color and then may have like little uh, flavorings of other color but like storm dragons I guess can be like primarily many colors or multiple colors. So where can they be found? I always feel silly like answering this one because it is right there in the name, right? Storm dragons, they definitely resonate with literal storms and can be found kind of following the storm clouds, if you will. But Maelstrom, Maelstrom is kind of like this group sort of energy, this like whirlpool, this like void that's created just energetically. So also they can be found places where there are like strong energies, like portal points. I'm just thinking of right now, like the Bermuda Triangle, 
Ooh, I got chills on that. There are lots of storm dragons protecting that area. Anywhere where there's like energetic portals, they are going to gravitate towards. They also tend to gravitate towards places where, where many people like to gather, just like this chaos dragons do. Um, but whereas the chaos dragons are more about having a little fun with that energy, the storm dragons kind of oversee and almost protect that entity that is the group energy and they keep it safe. So how do you work with the storm dragons? I've already talked about this first one quite a bit in my other videos, but if you haven't seen them, number one is weather magic. So if you did not know, you and anyone really can control, manipulate, or as I like to say, bend <laughs> the weather, just like in Avatar The Last Airbender. You can bend the weather. This is essentially what the Native Americans were doing when they did rain dancing. They literally summoned rain and that wasn't just some BS, that wasn't just their imaginations running away with them. They actually summoned rain and we can all reclaim this ability. And you know how they summoned the, the rain? They did it in a big group, right? And storm dragons like to work in groups. So we're gonna talk about that actually a bit later. I don't wanna distract myself right now, focus foxing. So suffice to say, if you do any sort of weather magic, whether intentionally or unintentionally, because you might be influencing the weather without even realizing it. If for example, you're sad about something and it's just like really rainy and dreary and cloudy, that might not be a coincidence. If you're sitting outside and you just feel these strong emotions all of a sudden and then the wind picks up and it seems like it's answering your emotions, not a coincidence. You're doing weather magic. And if you're doing weather magic, the storm dragons are going to come to you whether you're conscious of it or not because they want to oversee that and protect that and make sure it is safe for the whole collective involved. So two is that storm dragons are amazing for any sort of alchemy work. So what is alchemy? If you're not aware, real actual spiritual alchemy is taking a low vibrational frequency and shifting it into a high vibrational frequency. So if you're feeling really overwhelmed, for example, let's say you're just severely depressed and I talk about depression in this video here, if you really are depressed. Um, but yeah, you're, you're feeling severely depressed and you just can't seem to get over it. You're just weighed down by like heavy, dense energy. Call upon the storm dragons to transmute that and they will. And it's really that simple. And you can honestly do this with anything in your life that you feel is weighing you down or overwhelming you. You can ask the storm dragons to transmute it. But I give you a caveat here. I say this with caution. This can be intense. Be careful what you wish for. Because if the storm dragons transmute this stuff, oftentimes that comes with a lot of kickback in and of itself. Um, this is what happens, for example, when people start working with me as one-to-one -one coaching clients. It's like we lift their frequency up. Just like, um, just like Moldavite, if you've heard all the stuff about the crystal Moldavite, working with me and working with the storm dragons is like working with Moldavite. If you start with that, you lift your frequency and then immediately all the stuff that's not a match is going to come up to the surface to be released. So shit can get really crazy for a little bit while you're kind of anchoring, you're stabilizing into that new higher frequency. But of course, it's always worth it in the end if you can soldier through and get through that tr transition period without freaking out. So that's why I'm telling you about this now. Number three, how to work with the storm dragons is energetic protection. They are great and powerful protectors, probably more so than any of the other dragon elementals. They really like to oversee stuff. They like to provide structure around things, to protect things, to make sure everything is in order. And so if you feel like you're being attacked by entities, for example, I know like many of my clients, many of my followers reach out to me and ask what to do about entities and if they're feeling sabotaged or cursed or something like that. First, know that nothing can fuck with you unless you're giving it permission on some level. Of course, this is gonna be subconscious. It's not a blame sort of thing. But once you recognize that, 
you can set the intention. All right, nothing's going to fuck with me anymore. And then my friend, then you call on the storm dragons to chase those energies away and they will do so. They will transmute that for you and then protect you in like this bubble of beautiful storm maelstrom energy and you will be golden. And it is really that simple. So four, the storm dragons can help you with harmonizing a Posing polarities. So for example, they can help you with any of the lower elementals. So if you're like me, for example, and you are a serial fire sign, as I put it, I'm very, very fiery person. I actually have an imbalance of fire energy at times. In Chinese medicine, they say that I have a lot of heat in my body that manifests in physical ailments such as like eczema and just like dry skin, dry eyes, and just flare ups of things um, like acid reflux, stuff like that. And these things can manifest as physical symptoms. So I often need to harmonize the polarity of my fire energy with water energy. And when I do that, I can call upon the storm dragons and they will help me do this because storm dragons, they've already mastered all the other elementals and they can see quite clearly like what you're lacking in the opposite elemental. So if I was just working, say, with a water dragon to like harmonize the water energies within myself, it might happen that I just become too watery then because the water dragon is just like, yeah, just take lots of water, just take lots of love and just, just soak in this energy and then I might be too watery, you see? And then if I start invoking the fire dragons again, I might become too fiery again. So the storm dragons are like the adults that have a lot of experience and they'll be like, all right, all right, simmer down, children. This is how we're gonna even it out. This is how we're gonna make it fair. We're gonna balance the energies. Um, this also works great for something that seems to be huge for the collective right now, which is masculine versus feminine energies. And if you haven't seen it already, highly, highly, highly recommend checking out my video on the difference between masculine and feminine energies up here, as well as me talking about divine masculine energy and dragons, which is super cool. They can help you harmonize your masculine and feminine energies. And if you are someone that struggles with uh, that, this can manifest physically as quite literally hormonal imbalance. So if you have hormonal imbalance, guess what? That means your masculine feminine energies are a little out of whack. And that's a good opportunity to call upon the storm dragons to help you even that out and to harmonize that. So number five, the final way that I'm going to bring up today for working with storm dragons is group rituals. Now this doesn't even have to explicitly be a witchy ritual, if you will, but it can be a witchy ritual. So these can be uh, retreats. These can be group meditations. These can even be lives. Like I'm about to go live on TikTok for Lionsgate. If you didn't know about that, please join us. I have an event created, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to call upon the storm dragons to assist me in holding space for that live energy and creating something really magical. So if you're going to any sort of group event, whether you're hosting it or you're just in attendance, call upon the storm dragons and they're going to help you like hold that energy and they're going to make it really, really magical. So if you would love to do this like group sort of work and you're just like, well, I don't know anyone that's interested in this stuff. I'm kind of a lone wolf. I'm the weirdo. Um, no one understands me. You're in luck, my friends. That is exactly why I created my private community, House of the Spirit Dragon, which you can join in the description below. Or also, I will leave a comment to make it easier to find. But this month, as of filming this, which is August 2023, we are focusing exclusively on storm dragons. So first, we're going to meet our personal storm dragon guides. And then second, we are going to do a powerful group storm dragon ritual. And I so cannot wait for it. Um, so I would love to have you there co-creating with us. And of course, though it is a membership, you can cancel 
any time if you're not resonating with the other content but there's tons of useful stuff there in the house it is an amazing way to not only work with the dragons consciously but to just develop your psychic abilities and to start connecting with other dragon souls and star seeds light bringers whatever you want to call us right people like you so my final note on that is that even though we're just focusing on storm dragons during august 2023 even if you are seeing this in the future guess what time doesn't exist and there will be recordings available so if you're feeling called i would still encourage you to reach out and join and then watch the recordings and you will also be contributing to that august 2023 storm dragon energy in like total time traveler fashion so let me know my friends have you already worked with the storm dragons if so i would love to hear about it please share anything you have to share about the storm dragons in the comments below and know that in doing this like the storm dragons are going to be very very happy with you if you have anything at all to share just share it because the storm dragons feed off of this again this is like building that collective energy right it's building bonds with other people and they literally feed off that energy and they love it it's like giving them treats and they would be so happy if you could do that and of course as always they are super down if you would like this video subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated when i post on my super radic schedule because all of these things help the algorithm along they help more people learn about storm dragons and they feed the storm dragons with really yummy group energy so we will love you forever if you could do this of course we're loving you forever anyways my friends until next time much love and stay powerful